Hi everyone. So welcome to the another video of Postman tutorial. Today in this video, we'll see how to use the version control in Postman. So for example, we always work with our personal uh, workspace, right? So instead of personal workspace, uh, or if you're working as a team, like where two, three people are using the same collection or same API endpoints to, uh, to build the request, right? So when we come to the team or spaces, okay, so somebody would have created some collections. If you want to make changes over to the collection, right? So instead of going to the direct collection and making some changes, that makes some problem, right? So you cannot, if, if something went wrong, you cannot recollect that, right? So for that one, what we can do, you can simply fork those collections, right? And you can apply those, I mean, changes to some someone to review, right? So for creating like a pull request or approving the changes and merging your changes to the original collection. Right. So those kind of things you can play with the postman itself. Okay. So we'll go to postman now. Okay. So this is my postman window. So this is a new postman version that is coming from uh, version 8.0.3. Okay. So this is how the postman 8 version will look. Okay. There are so many UI changes they have uh, brought up. Okay. So here you can see the collections, API and environment variables and mock server, monitors, history, everything. Okay. And there are, I mean, these these things are remain same, like environment and everything you can change. And here also you can find the runner button. I mean, this will this button will give you the runner class. I mean, a runner folder, right? So this is like a trash. If you anything, if you delete from the collection level, it will be go to the trash. Uh, so earlier it was like you have to go to the website, you have to delete that one. Now it's very simple. If you click on this one, so whatever the folder or whatever the collection that you deleted from the postman, it will be uh, saved in the trash. Okay, it will be for uh, around 90 days, I think. Okay. Okay, so now we'll create one collection. So here is a collection button, right? So when you click on this collection, I mean, press icon, it will show you create new collection. Okay, so I have created some collection here. Okay, under this, I have to add some request. Okay, what I will do, I will simply add one request. So I will go to this sample uh, website. Okay, so this is my endpoint. Okay, so I'm just copying this endpoint and coming back to the postman. So this is my get request. Okay, so I will save this request as a get method. Okay, so now I have saved this request, okay, under the new collection, right? So when I make this request, it will work fine now. Okay, so I mean, we are getting the response as a two order. Right. So, okay. Let us assume this one is somebody has created. Okay. So here you can see I have only my uh, personal workspace. Right. So if we go for a team workspace, right. So where you can, uh, so this is the team, right. So you can name anything and whatever the team people, if you want to invite them, you can invite them as well. So that's when, I mean, uh, you can work as a team collaboration, right. So, I mean, two, three people are working in the same workspace they can make some changes and you have, you can approve those changes and you can merge the changes and you can use it to our collection, right? So now uh, we have created this collection, right? So what I will do, I will go to this uh, folder icon. Okay, this is a, a three dot icon, right? So which you, I mean, once you clicked on this one, so here you will see the option called create a fork, right? So when I do this, okay, it is asking for some fork label. Okay, I will name it as a, uh, my, Table. Okay, so when I click on the create collection, you can see one more collection by the same name, it will be created in the collection folder. Okay, so I'm clicking on the fourth collection. Okay, now you can see four created, right? So this message you can see. And here also you can see this is, I mean, uh, one more same folder, collection folder will be created here. Now what I will do, so let us assume this is my original one. Okay, this is my base one. I don't want to make changes on this. So what I will do, I will come here. This is a fork I have created now. I will simply add some test cases here. Okay, we will validate the status quo. Okay, so it should work fine. So when I go to the test result, I could see the test status code is coming as a two order. Okay, so now I have made some changes on this uh, duplicate collection. I mean, another version of uh, collection that we made through the fork, right? So I want to match this collection to, I want to match this collection to my, my original collection, right? So my base collection. So what I have to do, so once the fork is done, so what we can do, we can go for the create pull request. Okay, so you have made some changes, right? So someone has to review or someone has to approve your changes, right? 
so when you work as a team like your your senior people has to review and they have to approve right so for that sir reason we have to go for this create pull request you have to title like some changes some changes made okay so you can give some description and you can add some reviewer also so up to you can select 50 people so for this case uh, i don't have any other user because we are working in the personal workspace when you go for a team of space like if you have like a five through uh, 10 people you can add them as well okay so i have selected by my name itself and i'm clicking on the create pull request okay so my pull request is done so now you can see the approve button because i have given my name for the approver okay that's the reason i am seeing the approve button here so what i will do now uh, i will simply click on this approval before that you can see the changes okay so this is overview and this is the changes so this is a test method that we have add to the our four collection right so so those details you can change i mean uh, the changes you can see it here so once i click on this approve it will be approved you can see successfully approved message is coming and your status also it changes to approved right so now what we can do again we can go to the same collection and we can go for the merge changes right so we have make we have made some changes and we have requested for pull request i mean uh, the merge approval right so after that we have to go for a um, merge changes right so once this approval is done you can go for a merge so when i go to the merge it is asking for the merge all changes right so this is the changes that we have made we have simply added this uh, postman test right so we have written one test from the our four collection now we have to merge the merge i, I mean we want to uh, merge all changes right so we have to merge the changes to the our our, our four collection i mean our base collection right so when you click on this uh, merge all changes so you here you can see the all the options right so merge changes will be the destination will be updated with the changes the destination is only this one right so for this one what we can do you can uh, you can select this option also merge changes and update source so this is my source right so the new collection the first collection is my my source one so i will select this one which will uh, merge my changes and delete the source okay so the source sorry the source is the four collection okay so when i click on this now you can see so this is my source guys like a new collection you can see the label right my label this is my source okay and uh, when i click on this one so it will be updated to my uh, original collection and the, and the source will be deleted okay now you can see as soon as i click on this merge button this the second new collection will be go away from my postman okay now you can see it is gone right so the changes whatever we have made here and it and it, it, it get it is getting reflected here also right so for example again one more time and see so here we have some written some test right so i will come here i will mean, uh, create a fork again okay okay i have created now okay so we just make sure uh, we have test method here so this is coming from the original collection right so what i will do i will go to my fork collection now and when i click on the test okay i will remove this test okay and i am saving this one okay so now if i go for a pull request right because i have to uh, someone has to review i will give it in the description also and i i will add my name as a reviewer name okay so when i made this create i mean a pull request so here you can see this other overview description that whatever we have given and this are the changes right so simply we are removing this one my original uh, base collection has still this test method okay i i am planning to remove this one and i am i mean i am planning to merge the changes to my base collection okay so here we have removed right so when i go to the pull request again okay Okay, I'm making the pull request. Okay, duplicate pull request. Okay, so I will go to the merge uh, changes. Okay, so here we have to we have, we have already inserted the pull request. Okay, that's the reason we are getting the duplicate one. So now we can see it here. So these are things that will be removed from the our source, right? So this is our source, which is this is our source, and this is our destination folder. Okay, 
So when I click on the merge all selection, so it is asking the options we have. So what we can do, we can we can uh, select this option where uh, our source will be deleted, our destination will be updated. Okay, whatever the changes you made in the source, it will be updated to your destination as well. So in our case, the source is uh, the second one, the new collection four. Our destination is new collection. Okay, when I click on this button, now we can see this will automatically go and the things will be updated here automatically. So now we can see the test method is gone from here. Okay, so this is how we can use the Postman version control, creating a four collection we have seen and we have seen the creating full request, approving the changes also we have seen and we have seen the merge changes. Okay, so before going to your destination, I mean, uh, this is our destination folder, right? So we don't want to directly get into the destination instead of changing something. You can create one for collection locally. Okay, so you can make the changes over there. Then later you can merge the changes to the your destination. So this is how this uh, version control will work in the Postman. Okay, so I will give this reference. Okay, there are some good documentation where you can go to the Postman uh, website on learning uh, thing. And here you can see that you, I mean using the version control, creating the full collection, full request, approving the changes, reviewing the full request, resolve the conflicts and all. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all about this video. And these are the new changes that we have seen. Like for example, this is a code, right? So if you want to generate the code snippet. So here it was, I mean, there are some UA changes made in the Postman version 8. So here you can see the, all the changes, I mean, uh, generating the code snippet and adding some documentation or comments. Right, so everything that you did. Okay, so these are the UA changes that they have made. Like, so if you want to search something, this is a global search. Okay, so for example, if I want to, okay, this workspace, I don't have anything. I will switch to my workspace. Okay, when I come here, if I want to select, I mean, uh, search something like a, a, okay, I have something called A collection, right? So when I type on A collection here, okay, so when I type on something like a, a collection, right? So it will ask you that, so it applies to the global level. Okay, so here you can change this, uh, my workspace or entire workspace or API network and everything. So when I, I mean, search for A collection, so I have some A collection folder also, right? So that is what coming here. And and if you click on the new button, so same thing you can see it here as well. So if at all, if you want to uh, get some API network template, you have to go to the explore button. Okay, in the explore, you can see all the things like a themes and workspace and the APIs and the templates. So from here, you can pick the template and here you can pick, you can pick the API network options. Okay, so that's all about this video uh, using the version control in the Postman. If you guys have any doubt or any question, uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you guys.